makes his way out onto court. And now for the introductions of the home team. So the starting lineup then for Japan. Luis Kabata is the Libero, known as Mako. Many of her friends and teammates. She is a terrific scrambling defensive asset. And the same can be said of Akos around the court like Bruce Lightning to keep points alive and extend the play for her team. So it's Turkey preparing to serve to get this pool six encounter underway. And it's Turkey who opened the scoring. Osbey serving. Terrific hitting from that left wing position. Shinobi with the high flying spike. It's Karuga with the serve. How about that for a kill at the net from Gunez? Climbing high and firing that one down crisply. Not a chance for Kabata to dig that one out. So Ismailoglu with the serve. Backcourt spike finds the... Well, I thought it was inbounds, but the point has gone to Turkey. Terrific dig, ball still in play. It was a good initial save by Uzbek. Quick reactions to recover by Japan. That miss hit from Ishii. Sees Turkey race out to a three-point advantage in the early stages of this opening set. Ishii climbing high but not getting the contact as she intended. Difficult service reception, Ishii back into the mix once again and standing firm at the net. A combination of Gunez and Karakurt to turn that one back and see Turkey out to a 5-1 lead. Well, timeout has been called by Japan because Turkey have made a very strong start. 
the Japan tied things up at one point apiece. Turkey have rattled off four points without reply to go up by four. What's the timing between the tandem here and the decisive touch produced by Gunez, who already has three points in the match? Coming up with her first stuff block. among the leading blockers on the team for Turkey coming into this match. So turned in a second best five aces for her squad, but she's getting it done in all areas of the court to this point. So Ismaloglu with the serve. It's a difficult service reception. Japan are going to have to get it over on this contact. They do so. Very clever touch. Terrific play from Baladin. Second point in the match for her. Beautiful set from Uzbek. And she just put it beyond the despairing dive of the Japanese defender. It's all Turkey in the early stages. Here's Meloglu preparing to serve. Difficult service reception from Ishii. She's got to get it over on this contact. But that left them at the mercy of Turkey and their heavy hitting of Gunez continues. Four points in the match already. And Japan having no answer to her firepower. Oh, and in the thick of things once again is Gunez, who is absolutely on fire. Turkey have arrived at the eight-point total to trigger the first technical timeout in rapid fashion. And Gunez is doing everything for her club at the moment. Five points in the match. On that, her second stuff block. Absolutely dominant so far. And Japan needs to find an antidote quickly. Well, Gunez, right from the start of this match, has found her rhythm, found her range on the spiking side of the ball, on the blocking side of the ball. She's doing absolutely everything, and isn't she ecstatic about the performance and performances that she's delivering so far on both sides of the net? Absolutely terrific start to this match. First technical timeout arrived at in less than five minutes of play. Well, some delicacy coming to Japan's aid, Shinobi, with a very well placed touch over the top of the descending Baladin and Gunez. But after breaking the run of seven points without reply, Japan, with that service error, give the points and the serve straight back to Turkey. So it's Gunez preparing to serve, Turkey leading 9-2. Terrific save by Uzbek. Spike attempted by Baladin. Japan keep themselves in the point. Baladin getting down quickly once again. Climbing high. But a terrific dig by Shinobi. Is Meloglu in the backcourt. And on the second occasion. Oh, what a terrific save. My goodness, what hustle from Sato. I thought that one was a lost cause on the hammer blow from Karakurt. But Japan had other ideas. There were some terrific defensive plays in here. Look at Baladin get down and outstretch dive with the right hand to extend the point for Turkey. Then Ozbe diving forwards with a two-handed dig. 
and on this kill from Karakurt in the firing line with Shinobi and somehow Sato demonstrating terrific court coverage and quickness managed to get a hand on it clattered with the advertising hoarding for her troubles but that typifying the type of spirit that Japan always bring to their defensive duties tough service reception from Kabata she's in the thick of things once again backcourt spike is dug out by Ismail Oglu. The set from Osbe. Big hit from Baladin. And then the change of tempo catches Japan off guard. And it is all Turkey. Terrific block, what reflexes by Kabata. Japan still in it. And then Japan coming out on top. Shinobi with her second point of the match. Japan just three points on the board. And two of them have come from the hand of Shinobi. Shinobi who's preparing to serve right now. Tough service reception by Baladin. She's then set up for the spike. Shinobi receives that with a dig down the sideline, but not finding the space or Japan. And Turkey in a really commanding position here. Japan, with just three points on the board, have yet to put successive points together, whereas Turkey went on a 7-0 run to blow this one wide open at eight points to one. Since then, they've stitched together three points as well. High-speed jump spike serve from Karakurt, but what a kill from Okumura. And maybe this will be the catalyst to get Japan some confidence and flow about their play. The reverse spike gobbled up by Okumura for her first points of the game. Shinobi serving, 12-4 Turkey. Oh, that is almost like a practice drill. Ackman rising up high and putting that one deep into the Japanese defenders. Nobody able to get even close to that one. There's Baladin with the serve. Turkey leading, 13-4. Oh, terrific kill. Kurogo, Kurogo with her first points of the match. <laughs> Terrific finish at the net. Put away this time. Is another point to Kurogo. Back to back points for her now. Japan, for the first time, bolt together consecutive points. <laughs> Terrific hitting. who just produced the point, Ackman preparing to serve. But a service error. Sees Japan recover the serve and close two within seven. He's been down by as many as eight. Good finish at the net. Is Kurogo once again with her third point of the match. And they've come in pretty rapid succession as well. Able to get the better of the defensive duo, Gunez and Osbe. Oh, what a block, and that'll make Japan feel better about things. 
It was Saka and Shinobi coming together to form an unbreachable wall. Japan, with three points in a row, to close the gap to just five. Turkey calling timeout to try and just cool off the momentum that Japan have established. Clever change of play, almost catching Japan out. Terrific court coverage by the Japanese squad. Good save by Akaz. And then Karakur finding the net with her attempted spike. And Japan doing terrifically to hang in there and turn that rally around. A monster block at the net, turning back the attempted spike of Turkey's leading scorer. How about that for a block from Karogo? Good reflexes by Kabata. Up goes Karogo, and it's kept in play by Turkey. Karakurt brings a sprawling save from Sato, and it's Japan who are on a roll of momentum right now. Back to within three after being down by eight. Point-winning play produced by Shinobi. Five points in a row now for Japan. And their fighting qualities well known amongst vo volleyball aficionados. Service error sees that run of unanswered points come to an end. Reduce the arrears to three momentarily, but it's Turkey. Leading 15-11, looking to bring up the second technical timeout. Well, it's Turkey who take the point after Shinobi couldn't find a mark with that attempted spike. They bring up technical timeout number two, leading by five. They were up by as many as eight before a terrific run of five successive points by Japan reduced the arrears to three. But it's Turkey who lead, 16-11. Baladin has been really effective for Turkey so far, the player from Galatasaray. Among the highest leapers on the Turkish squad. And she has made quite an impact. Two points in the match so far. She's also extended the point. Extended the points on occasion. Some very good reflexes and reactions. So it's Uzbe preparing to serve. Service error. Sees Japan close to within four. Turkey. Won't want Japan to build up any confidence because they are a formidable opponent, doggedly determined. 
terrific save by Kabata with the right hand. Now it's Karakurt called into action once again, and the deflection carries it out of bounds. It is the point to Turkey. Karakurt with the second point of the match. Both of them coming on clean spikes. So Yildirim preparing to serve. Turkey leading by five. What a save in the backcourt by the server, Yildirim. But it's Japan who come out on top in the point. Big hit at the net. From the leading scorer in the match so far, Gunez goes to six points on that, her fourth a point winning spike. Turkey lead by five. Good reflexes by Yildirim. Big bump. But it's Japan who prevail. Turkey couldn't get it over on the third contact. An effective stuff block. This is Japan close to within four. Gunes takes a seat on the bench. Turkey's leading scorer with six points checking out. As Ishii came up with that block. And Shinobi prepares to serve. Oh, that is wonderful precision from Baladin. She was highlighted during one of the technical timeouts, and that gives you an idea as to why the depth that she produced on that spike. Allied with plenty of power, made it unreturnable. Three points in the match for her now. The team up by five. 19-14 the score. So Karaka preparing to unleash. That ferocious jump spike serve, which has seen her amass seven aces coming into this match, put her joint leading server in the competition. An uncharacteristic service error on that occasion. But I think that Turkey will take the risk reward that comes with that rocket. <laughs> Terrific put away. Okamura climbing high. And Japan back to within three. Difficult serve to deal with. Turkey just push it over on the third contact. Turkey, Japan tried to change the rhythm. Turkey were aware of it. Good reflexes by Turkey. Oh, terrific block at the net. A combination of Ackman and Baladin combining to turn that one back and produce the point for Turkey, ending a run of back-to-back -back points with that monster block. So it's Baladin preparing to serve. Good save by Akaz. Where's the ball gone? It's gone over on the first contact. The reverse set, Baladin getting down low to dig it out. Good save by Shinobi. Akaz diving low into her left, keeps Turkey in the point. Oh, and that one is wide of the mark from Baladin. And so Japan close to within three. Terrific fight back by Japan who have trailed Heavily in this opening set. Down by as many as eight at 14-6. But my goodness, they produced a 5-0 run to get themselves back into it at 14-11. And have continued to hang around and make life uncomfortable for Turkey.
Point winning play produced by the big spike from Japan. Set up perfectly. And it was Kurogo again for her fourth clean kill of the match. Brings her team to within two. As Miyashita prepares to serve. I caught with the reception. Deflected at the net by the Japanese blockers. Oh, terrific hitting. Kurogo. With another point winning spike. And Turkey have called timeout because all of a sudden, Japan are right back into this opening set. Turkey came blistering out of the blocks to take a big early lead. Japan looking to tie things up, currently in the midst of a three points without reply run. Well, miscommunication between the Japanese team there. Seemingly caught out by the deflection. Or excuse me, the direction that ball was spinning in after the deflection. It's Japan who stemmed the run of points Japan put together. Excuse me, Turkey who stemmed the run of points Japan put together at three as Atman serves. Terrific hitting. Kurogo leads all scorers with seven points in the match. That her sixth clean kill. Well, the point-winning play produced by the reliable hitting of Gunez. That is seven points in the match now. Her team's high scorer, the joint high scorer overall in this match. So Uzbe preparing to serve. Quick reactions from Karakurt. Wide of the mark, and it's Japan continuing to compete and make this one a very closely contested affair indeed. Wide of the sidelines. Good save by Kabata. Ishii, oh, wonderful put away from Ishii. Ties things up at 22 points apiece. The first tie we have had since the scoreline was 1-1. What a fight back by Japan. Can they take the lead for the first time? And they have done so with an unreturnable serve. An ace from the hot hand of Kurogo has seen her go to eight points in the match. The first ace of the match, and it sees Japan take the lead for the first time, looking to bring up set points. I can jump like this, I can make a lot of points. Can we have a little more patience in transition? Can we attack strong and long, strong and long? Well, what a terrific turnaround engineered by Japan. The job not yet complete, of course, but they have taken the lead for the first time in this match on an unreturnable serve from Kurogo. Now, I Kurogo looking to bring up set point. Well, unable to dig that one out was Sato. As the Gunez fired, fired down her sixth point winning spike of the match to take her to eight points total. And we are all square at 23. What a terrific opening set we have here at the Baskent Volleyball Hall. Here's Meloglu with the dig. Karakurt with a high powered spike. 
Japan must get it over on this contact. There's a coming together at the net. Quick reflexes by Uzbe. Bumped over by Akos. Ishii climbs high. What a reflex to even get something on it by Uzbe. But it's a point-winning play produced by Japan. And that brings up set point. Look how deep that set was. It was low, it was flat, and it arrived at Ishii's hand rapidly. And she made no mistake with the execution. And now preparing to serve is Nabea into the match for Iwasaka. What a responsibility here. It's a jump spike serve. And the point goes to Japan. And after taking the lead for the first time in the match, deep, deep into the match, at 23 points to 22, it's Japan who close it out more clinically to take the opening set by 25 points to 23. Ishii perfectly placed to come up with that point-winning play. And it is Japan who against all the odds, against all the evidence in the early stages of this opening set, who have kept their composure, they kept themselves in contention, and they closed it out magnificently to take the first set by a scoreline of 25 points to 23. Absolutely remarkable. And the Turkish fans stunned into silence here. The Basket Volleyball Hall in Ankara, because for all the world, in the opening stages of this first set, it appeared as though Turkey were going to run away with this one. Japan seemed so shell shocked, but how they responded. Here are the highlights. Turkey, no strangers to prevailing 3-1 in the opening week of VNL play. That's what they did in their first two matches, but conceding the opening set for the first time as we take a look at the service placement of Japan. And that left wing. It's a really profitable area of service placement. That's where they've gone. The majority of the time but you have to admire the fight back not only the fighting spirit but the composure that they showed not to crack when Turkey were edging towards the winning total but they kept their call cool and reeled them in going ahead for the very first time deep into the opening set at 23 points to 22 and then closing it out and they brought about set points and that was after Turkey tied it up, tied it up at 23-23, ending their run of three successive points that got them to that advantageous position for the first time in the match. Their tails will be up now, and it's Turkey who have got to find a response to get back on even terms.
So Akos receives the serve to get this second set underway. Kara Kurt sees her spike turn back. Oh, but that one is emphatic. What a put away at the net. And Turkey come out of the gates quickly to begin this second set. They take the first point. So it's Gunes, the match's leading scorer, preparing to serve. Quick reflexes demonstrated by Uzbek. Karakut climbing high, came straight back at her. She kept it alive. Kabata sent to the court by that hammer blow from Karakut. And then Karakut in the firing line throughout the course of that point. And ultimately, she couldn't get it over. We're all square at one. That was where Kabata was sent to the court. A little bit of miscommunication between the... Turkish players, Korogo scoring eight points in the opening set. Akos turns back the spike. Oh, mistiming her jump totally was Baladin. See her tossing that ball away in frustration because she went up far too early in an effort to receive this set. <laughs> and as she was coming back down, well, just couldn't make contact with the ball. Set placed higher than she anticipated. So the point to Japan. Akos sent diving to her right to keep that one alive. And Kara Kurt can't find the range on that attempted spike. She looked for the acute angle cross court, but could only put it out of bounds. Terrific start to the second set by Japan. They lead by three. <laughs> Tough service reception. Bumped over by Akaz de Libero. And with the defences poured all over the court, Shinobi took full advantage of the disjointed Turkish defence, powering down her fourth clean kill of the match. Takes her to six points total, and that puts her team up by four. Kabata with another terrific save, and the block produced by Guveli. Impact checking into the game on the defensive side of things, and that stems a run of five points without reply that Turkey had put on the board. So the service error from Karakurt hands a point and the serve straight back to Japan. Good save by Iwasaka. She bumps it over on the third contact. Akos giving Turkey plenty of time to set, but they get their backcourt spike attempt wrong. It was nudged over by Ismail Oglu. Now is that point to Japan? I think it's a little bit long. Japan looking imploringly in the direction of the official, perhaps considering whether to launch a challenge. They had plenty of court space to aim at here. But they could only put it beyond the baseline from the hand of the spiker. So it's Urchan preparing to serve. 3-6, and it's a service error. So Japan looking to bring up the first technical timeout. They've only trailed once in this second set so far, and that's when Turkey put the first point on the board. Lead is four, equaling their largest lead of the set so far. 
But a service error brings Turkey right back into this. So it's Guveli preparing to serve. One block in the match so far. Oh, the service errors coming in a flurry. And he brings up. So Ishii serving, four points in the match so far. Oh, and it's an unreturnable serve. Because Turkey were unable to deal with it. Erdogan completely deceived by the flight of that serve. And it results in the first ace of the match for Ishii. Five points is the largest lead of the set enjoyed by Japan. Well put away by Turkey at the net. You can see them trying to rally themselves here. The set pace plays perfectly for Gunez. Double figures in the match already. Reduces the arrears to four. Well, that's rather unfortunate from the Japanese point of view because the serve clipped the net cord. There was a desperate dive to get a hand underneath it. And the contact was indeed true, but that just popped the ball up and Turkey pounced all over it at the net. Back-to-back -back points reduces the damage to three points. But then Kurogu. Moves to nine points in the match on that her seventh clean kill for Kurogo. And once again, it is Gunez who moves to 11 points in the match now on that her ninth point winning spike. Leading player. All scorers so far. Good save in the backcourt by Ismail Oglu. Baladin with a delicate touch and it completely deceives all of the Japanese defenders who despite their desperate dives could not get a hand be between the ball and the court. Saw her mistime her leap on a spike attempt a few minutes ago, but no such error of execution on that occasion. Baladin moves to four points in the match, closes the gap to just two. Oh, that is a fantastic hammer blow. Kurogo kept on knocking, and on the second spike attempt, she made no mistake. Her eighth clean kill of the match. Take her to 10 points so far. Well, Baladin sees her attempted spike deflected out of bounds. Five points in the match for her now. It's Turkey close to within two. Unable to control the contact at the net. So Gunes serving. Kabata with the reception. Oh, what a block! That is absolutely sensational. Baladin and Guveli in the vicinity. Now, who got the decisive contact? Guveli comes up with her second stuff block. Desperate reach from Gunez. Goes beyond all of her teammates. And it's Japan who have a two point advantage once again.
That is a really steep trajectory produced on that spike by Karakur. She who is now preparing to serve four points in the match for Karakur. And the tournament top. Server, well, it's another unforced error from Karakur. She put one of them long previously. But the player who came into this match with seven aces to put a joint number one in that regard. Yet to unleash one in this match so far. Hands a point and the serve straight back to Japan. Well, at the coming together at the net, it is Dilik who comes away with the point for a team. First point of the match for her on that block. And it brings Turkey back to within one. So Baladin with the serve. Five points in the match so far. Terrific hitting. Is Meloglu with her first points of the match. Off that perfectly placed set, and she ties things up at 13 points apiece. The decoy run was produced by Gavelli. Japan would have had to be wary of that reverse set for the spike off one leg, but instead, it went to the strong side. And is Meloglu with her first points of the match levels things up at 13 on the scoreboard. Terrific hitting. Okumura with her third point of the match so far. And it's Japan who go ahead by one. Wide of the mark. Turkey That's when he couldn't find a range. So Shinobi serving, looking to bring up technical timeout number two. Good blocking at the net by Turkey, and the solid blocking continues. Good dig out by Shinobi. Akos. The Turkish Libro starts the response. What a response by Kabata in the backcourt. Deep spike pushed over by Japan. Terrific rally, this one. Back and forth action. What a block at the net by Ackman. Japan with a delicately placed dink. Terrific scrambling by Karakurt. What a diving save by Shinobi. And it's out of bounds, and the point goes to Japan. The conclusion of a terrific point concluded after Ismail Oglu put her attempted cross-court spike wide. But what a fantastic point we have just witnessed. So many players demonstrating reflex and touch and anticipation and desire. How about that for a save from Kabata? And it was those type of plays that were repeated time after time. And ultimately, Ismail Oglu couldn't keep the attempted spike inbound. Second technical timeout reached. Japan leading by three. Japan 16, Turkey 13. Well, this time, the rifle shot straight down the sidelines is accurate from Ismail Oglu. Second point of the match for her. 
brings her team back to within two. Good hustle demonstrated by Turkey, but ultimately to no avail. Point in favor of Japan. They lead 17-14. So Ishii, five points in the match so far, including an ace. Kabata with quick reflexes, but she couldn't control the direction of her contact. And Turkey reduced the arrears. Another point-winning spike from Gunez, who has 12 points in the match now. Oh, something of a missed opportunity, one suspects, there for Turkey. Ball came in their direction. Attempting the monster block, they only pushed it out of bounds. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic from Karakurt. Soaring high into the air, and then look at the acute angle she's able to produce here. High speed, perfect precision. And it takes Karakur to five points in the match. Turkey, 16-18 down. Very clever play by Japan. Bumped over by Turkey. Japan with plenty of time to set, and they elect for a backcourt spike. And the hammer blow sends Ismail Oglu to the court. She was attempting to keep her team in the point. It came at terrific speed on a booming backcourt spike. Japan up by three. Everything is good, simple and go. So a service error from Sato. She's Turkey closed the gap to just two. 17-19. Gunez, the game's leading scorer, joint leading scorer serves. Quick reflexes by Gunez. Oh, what a block at the net! Kurogo and Iwasaka combining. And blocking that bullet that came in their direction. Terrific play. So Kurogo with the serve. The cars receive serve. Karakurt. Ball still alive, but the final touch from Iwasaka. She couldn't get underneath the ball. Karakurt preparing to serve. Takes some speed off it. This time she gets it in play. Quick touch over. Karakurt down to her knees to receive. Fantastic put away at the net. Watch this off the set for Baladin. Rose up high and put it outside of the attempted blocking tandem that Japan employed at the net it's a one point second set japan have led by as many as five <laughs> time out
Oh, that is routine for Japan. Executed magnificently. The service reception from Kabata. And then the set placed perfectly for Ishii, who put it away emphatically. And the player who closed out the opening set coming into the game off the bench is back into the game once again. Nabea in the closing stages being called upon for her composure and reliability. Her team are leading by two. Three points away from being up second set point for the second time in this match. They capitalize almost instantly. In set number one, Nabea preparing to serve now. And it's beyond the baseline. Baladin looked as though she was posing the question as to whether there was a deflection. And indeed, Turkey have requested a challenge because the ball went way out of bounds. The question now for Hawkeye is whether it was touched en route beyond the confines of the court. And it was a touch, so Turkey correct to launch a challenge. Deflected out of bounds, and listen to the response that brings from the fans here. At the Basket Volleyball Hall, the game remains in the balance. It's a one-point affair. Turkey looking to tie things up. Baladin with the serve. Kabata receives. Big block at the net from Turkey. Japan recover, get their rhythm. What a save from Kabata. Ishii climbs high and is deflected out of bounds by the Turkish tandem at the net. And Japan restore their two-point lead. Anguish up in the stands for some of the local supporters. Shouldn't be with the serve. What a save in the front court by Shinobi. Delicate touch is still kept alive. Desperate dive in the back court. They get it over on the third contact. Akaz diving to her right to keep it in play for Turkey. And then a desperate dive from Japan, and it's Turkey who come away with the points. What a terrific rally by Turkey because they were on the ropes for the majority of that exchange, but look at how desperately they were defending. Nothing a lost cause. Of course, getting down low, following the example of her teammates during the earlier exchanges of that rally. And then when the opportunity came, the clever touch from Ismail Oglu caught Japan out, and it's a one-point affair once again. The fans raising the decibel level here at the Basken Volleyball Hall. Turkey serve with Ackman. Oh, terrific play by Japan. The backcourt spike executed in excellent fashion. And once again, they refuse to let Turkey get back on level terms. Looking to bring up set point now with a two-point advantage. So Ismail Oglu receives. Blocking at the net from Japan is solid. Karakur climbs high and seems it turned back. Terrific defending by Japan. Unbreachable at the net. And it brings up set point with a three-point advantage. So Turkey have called timeout. Looking to stem the momentum that Japan have established.
Oh, pensive moment. All the Turkish supporters up in the stands here. Japan with set point. To go two sets up, Ishii serving. So Turkey save. The first set point, they fend it off. To close to within two is Meloglu. Moving to four points in the match. As Uzbe prepares to serve. Cards with the dig. It goes out wide beyond the sideline. Karakurt gets it over on contact number three for Turkey. Oh, misjudgment from a card. Sees the point land inbounds in favor of Japan. And that gives them a two set to nothing lead. What a performance Japan have produced. Coming in here seemingly flat and devoid of confidence after a disappointing end to week one in pool play. But my goodness, have they responded magnificently. A cause clearly electing not to play that one. And it's that type of head in the hands moment for Ismail Oglu and indeed the entire team. Turkey have conceded the second set and now trail by two sets to nothing after Japan took set number two, 25 points to 22. And they are in a commanding position. Turkey gonna have to force this one to the distance if they hope to get a victory. Well, what a turn for the first time in VNL play at the expense of Japan, who have started magnificently. They lead by two sets to nothing. And they are preparing to receive serve from Uzbe, who will get things underway for Turkey. But the delicate touch from Shinobi sees her move to two points in the match. And the first point goes go in favor of Japan. So, Kurogo preparing to serve. Big block at the net from Gunez. And then she's in position perfectly once again. Gunez with her third stuff block takes her to 13 points in the match so far. Her team's leading scorer. Fantastic court coverage. That was true. We're all square, one point apiece. Well, the points have actually been given in favor of Japan. So they go up 2 nothing before Turkey respond. So a service error from Turkey. See Japan restore their two-point lead.
Terrific hitting from Gunez. 11th clean kill of the match for her. She reduces the arrears to one. So Kabata with the reception. Oh, what a defensive dig by Ismail Oglu after that spike came in her direction at high speed. Oh, towering block at the net. Kara Kurt rising up high and getting fantastic penetration over the top of the cord to put that one away for a monster block. Seven points in the match for her now. Her first block of the match, and it ties things up on the scoreboard. How about that for a stuffed block? And in position once again. And she's imploring the fans here to give them more inspiration, more encouragement. Fantastic coverage, and this time it was a solo effort. But the outcome the same. And isn't she pleased about it? Back-to-back -back monster blocks from Karakurt. She's Turkey take their first lead. Here's Meloglu dealing with that spike from Ishii. Karakurt. Terrific save by Kabata. Ishii climbs high to put it over. Karakurt with the dig, now in position for the spike. Deflected at the net. Japan get it over. Desperate defending from Kurogo. Ishii bumps it over on contact number three. Blocked at the net. Quick reflexes by Japan. Must go over on this contact. Ishii finding the space where none seem to exist. What a terrific point. And it's Japan who come out on top to conclude that mega rally. How about that from Ishii? Got back to her feet. And she was the athlete in position to apply the finishing touch. But look at that for a sprawling save. Not just getting contact, but able to control it as well. Now she's set up by Kabata. And the conditioning of these athletes is to be admired. Up and down off the court in short order. And still able to have the presence of mind and the body control to produce plays like that. Karakurt wide of the mark with her attempted spike. And it's Japan who lead by one. Blocking at the net is effective. What a terrific play. Ishii in the thick of it to open this third set for Japan. Her second stuff block of the night. And the tournament's second leading scorer coming up big. Almost an unreturnable serve, but Karakurt ensures that it isn't. Gets it over on contact number three. But then, with the Turkish defenses poured all over the court, well, it's that type of response from Giovanni Gudetti. Because the defenses were all over the place after that desperation bump over from Karakurt. Karakurt receives serve. Japan do well to get it over. They've had time to set. Akos with the initial bump. Good dig out by Shinobi. And then it's point to Japan to bring up the first technical timeout. Four points rattled off. Make that five points rattled off without reply for Japan. And they lead by a four-point margin at the signpost of technical timeout number one. Ishii, the tournament's second leading scorer, coming into this match is a second leading scorer for her team so far, but has come up big in the third set to this point. Three points 
on two spikes and a fantastic stuff block. And she's also played her part in extending rallies that appear to be going in Turkey's favor with some wonderful defending. And how about that? Going straight down the sidelines with pinpoint accuracy. 11 points in the match on eight spikes, two blocks and an ace. Turkish coach and his team are showing plenty of fight but just haven't been able to match Japan. A cause with a desperate scramble. She was backed up by a teammate. Bars to try and get it over but to no avail and it's an unreturnable serve on the resumption after the technical timeout. Absolutely sensational from Japan. And they have got a full head of steam right now. The backcourt spike is untouchable. Kurogu. Flying in from beyond that line after the set from Sato. And it's a six-point advantage for Japan. So Kara Kurt spikes in the direction of Kobata. Ishii hammers it back to the Turkish Libro Akaz. Coming together at the net, thinking about playing a bit of football was Kara Kurt. Her back came in contact with the net, she couldn't keep it alive. And the run of points without reply continues for Japan. Now eight points without an answer from Japan to put them up by seven. Everything being dug out by Japan now. Terrific save by Shinobi. The set put in position for Boz. And it's turned back with a beautiful block that lands inbounds. Okoza scrambling to no avail. And once again, it is Ishii who is in the mix. Her third stuff block of the night takes her to 12 points in the game. And Japan are on fire right now. And finally, Baladin gets a point on the board for Turkey. But they find themselves trailing by seven, having been subjected to a run of nine unanswered points. Baladin serving. Kabata with the diving save. Backcourt spike from Baladin. Kabata with the set, Ishii into action. Blocking at the net is effective from Japan. Oh, terrific hitting. Okamura with the kill close to the net. And Japan are flowing freely right now. Turkey have got to find a response and find it quickly because they are running out of road with which to play if they hope to avoid a straight set defeat. Deflected out of bounds, that'll be points in favour of Turkey. So it's Yildirim preparing to serve. A team down by seven.
quick reflex at the net from Ismail Oglu. Oh, fantastic block. A combination of Akman and Uzbek. And that is the type of play that can serve as a catalyst for another team to find some energy, to find some inspiration. They rose up in unison and denied the spike attempt that was rifled in their direction. Can they build on that now? Well, of course, can't keep that one alive. So the success short-lived for Turkey, who are being doubled up, trailing by seven. They've been down by as many as eight. Ball still alive. Can Japan get the control and get it over? They do. But then that was what put away angrily by Ismail Oglu. Japan showing terrific scrambling qualities, and even though they've conceded the point, I'm sure they'll feel pretty good about that because they are running down everything, getting a hand on everything. And the onus is on Turkey to try and stitch some points together to get back into contention in this third set. Having conceded the opening two, this could well be the final set unless they can respond. Now, this is the type of momentum that Turkey need. Execution error from Japan. We're in the opening stages of set number three. Everything was going inbound for the visiting squad. And the fans sense that this could well be a moment. They are only down five. Barter with a diving save to keep it alive. Here's the third contact. And the deflection catches out Baladin, who did get a hand beneath the ball and keep it alive, but then Uzbe was unable to assist. So the back-to-back -back point skip stitched together by Turkey. That run has been broken. And it's Japan who bring up the technical timeout with a seven-point advantage, trailing by five. Well, it's an altogether different complexion. Technical timeout number two. Sees Japan seven points to the good. They've led by as many as eight on a couple of occasions. 13-5 and 12-4. And now... Turkey find themselves with their backs to the wall. Well, Kurogo, Kurogo is Japan's leading scorer in this match so far. 20 points in the game. And has really come up with some Enormous plays, one ace, one monster block, and 18 clean kills. Wonderfully precise hitting on her putaways. She's been the rock upon which their lead has been built. So the point to Turkey. As play resumes. To the second technical timeout. Ozbe preparing to serve. One point in the match so far. Well judged by Japan. All of the players put their hands to their numbers and let that one sail by them, and it landed beyond the baseline. Seven points the advantage now for Japan as Kurogo prepares to serve. Four points in this third set alone. Oh, that is absolutely decisive from Gunez. 16 points in the match now on that, her 14th clean kill.
Clever play by Japan, but Turkey were alert. Ishii took some speed off her spike attempt. Akaz with the set. Kabata with the dig, which goes straight over. And then when the Japan defences were pulled all over the place, it's Turkey who found the gap and reduced the arrears to five once again. Now, the last time they got back to within five, to Japan responded immediately. But since the second technical timeout, Turkey outscoring Japan three points to one. Timing their run well, can they extend it? And it's out of bounds. Turkey continue to close the gap, trailing by just four. And their run of dominance since the resumption after technical timeout number two continues. But we have a challenge being requested by Japan. Saw Shinobi inquiring as to whether that was touched at the net by the Turkish blockers. So the challenge requested, we await Hawkeye's verdict. Shinobi looked in the direction of the official immediately. So what was her sense at the net? And it has been touched. So the jubilation experienced by Turkey is short-lived because that is a point in favor of Japan. And rather than being down by four, well, the point goes in favor of Japan and they are up by six. <laughs> and what a difference that makes not just empirically, but psychologically as well. Turkey will be feeling a little bit hard done by now, but there's no time to feel sorry for themselves. They've got to get their focus back on this match as they attempt to overturn what is a six-point deficit now. Nebea serving. Out of bounds on the attempted kill from Gunez. Turkey have called timeout. Japan are up by seven and need just six points to close out. A terrific victory here. And it's not just the scoreline, but the manner in which they've gone about it. But there is still more work to do. Let's listen in. Well, a short set of instructions from Coach Giovanni Guidetti during the course of that timeout because you get the sense that this is Turkey's last roll of the dice. They are down by seven. Japan need just six to close out this victory. And it's Japan who have the serve. Nebea was proven to be so composed in these type of scenarios so far. Oh, it was put up on a platter, and Turkey pounced all over it. Ishii attempting to dink that one over, but Turkey's defences were sound. Gunez, her team's leading scorer with 17, preparing to serve. Ishii puts it long, but it must have been deflected because the point goes in favor of Japan. It takes Ishii to 13 points in the match on her ninth point-winning spike. And Japan arrive at the 20-point total with a seven-point advantage. And a contact at the net from Turkey, an error in execution. Brings a smile to the face, to the face of the official. But you can bet that Turkey won't be smiling because they're on the cusp of a straight sets defeat here. Unless they can save up. And one of the all-time great rallies from behind. They're now down by nine. 
Japan with three points in a row. Closing in on match point on the serve of Shinobi. Oh, my goodness. Well, there's a rather unfortunate collision between Ismail Oglu and Uzbek. And let's hope that the players are OK. Any athlete will tell you, you run into something blind like this. Well, it's incredibly painful because there isn't that time to brace yourself, which you can do if you just catch it in your peripheral vision. Let's hope that the athletes are OK. But that really is just just about typifies the way things have gone in this third set for the home team. Encouraging applause from the fans for both of the players involved in that collision. But after a brilliant start in set number one, it is Japan who have been the team with all the momentum in their favour, looking to bring up match point. And there it is, and what a way to do it. Match point for Japan. Turkey managed to stave off the first match point. But Japan still with a double-digit margin of advantage. It's Boz with the serve, Kabata with the sprawling reception. And just like that, it is all over. What a terrific performance by Japan. After going 0-3, after going one and three in the first week of play, losing back-to-back -back matches, they have come in here to the host venue of the team that topped the BNL standings. Turkey were a perfect 3-0 in week one, coming in here off a straight sets victory over the reigning world champion Serbia, but they have been shell-shocked by the Japanese who displayed magnificent composure kept their heads cool when they were in danger of being steamrolled in the opening exchanges of the set number one when they went down eight points to one. But they edged their way back, took the lead for the first time in that first set at 23 points to 22 to win 25-23. And then, again, demonstrated their cool temperament by taking the second set 25-22. And in the third set, well, my goodness, they used a 9-0 run to go up by eight at 12 points to four and never let Turkey get a foothold in this match. And Turkey succumbed to their first defeat of the 2019 BNL. Rather ironically, here on home court, they have been absolutely dominated by Japan, who take this one three sets to nothing. 25-23, 25-22, 25-14, Closing it out in less than 90 minutes of play. Absolutely terrific performance by Japan. And this result will surely reverberate around the entire VNL. Let's, join the, let's enjoy the highlights. That then, the moment of confirmation where Japan closed it out a double-digit margin of victory, and just look at what it means to the team who came in. Losing three straight sets after going up 1-0 against Belgium in their final match of Pool 2 play in Ruza, Belgium last week. Ruza, Bulgaria last week, excuse me. And this is how they did it. 22 errors coming from Turkey stark contrast they committing fewer than half of the errors of their opponents wonderful defensive qualities efficient kills and it's japan who take a victory turkey four to three and one
And because they couldn't force this to fifth set, to a fifth set, well, they don't come away with a bonus point. So, Turkey started their 2018 VNL campaign with three back-to-back -back wins before losing their fourth match, 3-1 against Brazil. They've lost their fourth match here as well on home court. And it's Serbia who have prevailed over the US in the earlier game. The reigning world champs beating the reigning VNL champs. And Japan consigning Turkey to their first loss of the 2019 VNL campaign. Fantastic finish by Japan to close this one out. It's a terrific victory for them. Thank you for staying with us and thank you for being part of the game.